Welcome back to ESO TV for the Black Masha Cup. We're into the Russian qualifiers and into potentially the last game of the night. As we have Dragons going up against Rocks. And right now, Dragons currently up 1-0 in the special three. Winner does take home 250 euros. And I believe seeding coming into the spring uh, finals slash, well, slash playoffs coming up actually at the end of this month. And I actually can't even hear out of my left ear right now in this headset that is a little weird oh wait i think i know why hold on hold on hold on hold on wait okay i can hear the left ear again anyway sorry back into the game as it looks like we're going to have a lane swap come in. We're going to have Zillian and Lucian in the top side up against this Malphite. And Severe and Annie in the bottom lane up against this Jax. So we'll see how this one works out. I don't feel like I have a tough time farming. Still will Jax though. The thing is, you can't really dive a Jax on a turret once he does get his counter strike up. It's a little bit too difficult. And again, that typically comes into a different lane. But right now, Malphite is actually going to go back. I don't know what's going back. I uh, was going to base for some reason. This has teleport, obviously, so he can get into a lane if he needs to. But I'll see how that works. I'm going to actually want to watch him for a second just to see how this one goes. I'm going to be shoved away from the lane here. Being zoned out quite well by Archie. And so it was Yax, so I just said Yax. Wow, I've watched too much offside lately on the stream. Uh, so it was Jax, though, on the bottom side. Having a tough time there. Not really expecting too much CS early on. But we know how strong a Jax can get once he gets going. Either way, 10 to basically 10 in CS, pretty much even between the 80 carries. In mid lane, it is a slight lead in favor of Fomco at the moment. And we'll see if it continues this way. Only three minutes in. And Vi already head up towards his top. It looks like they want to go for a three man dive. He is only level one. This could work out very well as Pantheon will get shoved away from his uh, golems here. And that could allow that gank to come in if they want to. He's actually just make sure to keep Pantheon off of this. She chase him down with the red buff, force him to maybe use a flash here, which he won't even go for. And they're still harassing down oh, fight on this top side. Haven't gotten them down too low just yet. It's about half life. You know, I should pop his crystalline flask. But Pantheon will be here to join him and will be here to stop that gank from coming in. So good job by him to actually get up there. Is the uh, Counter strike coming in. Now Jax could be dove on this bottom lane. Let's actually tune in with him for just a little bit. Gonna get harassed down by Andy quite well with those auto attacks. As well as the spells. Now Malphite getting very low. Ignite comes in. He's actually gonna die. That is first blood going over to Zillion right there. Malphite get a little bit too cocky, a little bit too aggressive. He does still have teleport though. So he won't miss out on too much when he turns to lane. But still, being a first blood like that is very unfortunate. He does have his flash though. He's able to maintain that. All right now, not the best of starts. Bye. We're gonna be coming in on Ziggs. Actually, gonna get the jump, but not matter in the end. We'll get dove on, and we will get killed. He saw this flash up though. Just wasn't quick enough to hit it or to escape. But early to our lead, That's exactly what we saw last time. Obviously, it wasn't as early as this, but they were able to get. I think it was six kills before they lost a single man in that game. Right now, they're on track to the same, almost. Eh, about 600, 700 gold lead at the moment. Let's see what happens here. We're gonna have lane swaps come in. We're gonna have Zillion come down towards the bottom side with Lucian, I believe. And Nick just gonna go back to base here. So they're gonna just swap. They will have bot. So they do have that advantage here. Not to mention, Zillion has a sight stone done. Vision shouldn't be a problem for him. And if they play the cards right, they should be able to harass it very well here. Any stun now down. They can start to push in. And Trent doing some good harass as well as Zillion. The problem is health pot. It's gonna be stay healthy here and let's see how that one goes. Actually gotta be very careful right there, but 
Trying to harass Nyxark, and he's doing a fantastic job that you see. He doesn't really have much sustain right now, as Tran does have that Vamp Scepter, so... To come down to who pushes out who, and not to mention, I need to go back and buy to be able to match that sustain that he's currently going up against here. And right now, we're gonna actually chase down Nyxark, forcing the barrier, forcing the flash. And he will now return to base here, so... Great little start coming out of the side of uh, Dragon. And we'll see if they can keep that going throughout the rest of the game. They did earlier on. So they can do that two times running. Alright, so... King's coming down towards Dragon. It looks like we're going to see the side on a Dragon go for it. Let's go ahead and just tune in with that real quick. I mean, super lazy today, guys. I'm letting the directed camera do actually all the work for me because I've missed out on so many kills the past couple of weeks. And not to mention, I'm still tired from coming back from Katowice, so... Yeah. Andy, gonna go and engage. Zillian, gonna go draw... Actually, go down from this one. Ignite, was pop, auto attack comes in. And that is a dragon for a death. Worth it. Have South Jackson, that top side, who's currently behind quite a bit in farm. And now uh, Peter Porker, who was a big portion of, of why they won that last game. A decent time middle, actually winning in farm right now. Certainly he's melee versus ranged. And Nick finally now level 6 will be able to have that passive off his, ult off his uh, ultimate. He'll do some really good damage. Wow. Been quite far right there, but now Lucy gonna get stunned up. Actually gonna get away from that one in the end. And Fariz does have his ultimate though, so kind of hard to dive him. Tailing back, gonna looking for more house. This has ancient coin now, so going for that Talisman Ascension, that extra speed increase to help us team out. Gonna come in handy actually quite a bit when you pair that in with a Vi and a Jax. Not to mention a Lucian when you can speed him up on top of that. So you're gonna have someone going very, very fast. And you have that ultimate obviously to use right after. So blue buff. Now up for the side of uh, Dragon. Haven't done it over just yet to middle. Even without that, he's still currently winning a little bit in CS. And I see Final Cut looks like he's gonna go take his race. He currently doesn't really have an item built up yet. Two Fairy Charms, two Doran's Rings. Going for that uh, sustain that Peter Porker has as well. So we're probably gonna be going into that Chalice in just a few. The real question for me is, the Zillion Lucian lane, if they can continue to harass quite a bit, they're actually down in CS at the moment. And Severe's returning actually stronger than her opponent, at least in terms of items. But Zillion's level 6, so I have that ultimate to sustain with. Or to bait out a lot of damage. And Jax just continue to shove up. Continue to get some farmers. He's currently down about 22 right now. He needs to catch up. He needs to start snowballing in his lane a little bit because he can become so huge later on. Like he just becomes so impactful uh, in these fights with the damage that he can do, with the tankiness that he has from his uh, ultimate. You see him constantly trying to harass Malphite here, and I miss the old Jax actually. Now that I think about it, back in the day, he was one of the first teammates I ever played, and I actually built him attack speed once because someone destroyed me with him. You know, obviously when you're playing the game new and you, you're leveling up uh, your account and you see someone play a champion, they do extremely well, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna do that too, and eh, it worked out a couple of games. Someone even beat me as AP Rise way back in the day, and I was just like, oh my god, he's so strong. Never, And I never even realized that you're supposed to build mana on him, and neither did the guy that destroyed me. <laughs> so, got down, drop topside. Jack's gonna flash out. We'll get slowed up, though. And that will be a dead Jax. But who's gonna pick up the kill? Gonna be a Pantheon, so 2-2 two two now. All tied up in kills. And ROX aren't out just yet, they're looking for a fight here, and... Right now, they're winning it currently. Take a look at gold, pretty much dead even. Even with that dragon advantage that... Dragon does have. Time that top turret was being pressured quite heavily, but 
I was able to get up there in time, able to hold them off. Bottom lane's still able to do some really good harass. Next are Pop the health pot, not able to attack the minion just yet to uh, keep the sustain going here. But you can see the pressure that Annie's really applying. This horse is leaning to back out quite a bit. Not as aggressive and cocky as he wants to here, but it's really the other lizard now picked up for Pantheon. And he's had one ultimate, and it's been successful. If he can continue to do that, it's going to be very dangerous for the side of, uh, of Dragon Team. And you can see Severe still being forced pretty far back. And the Zillion Bombs are starting to hurt a little bit. Doesn't really uh, have any ability power, though. Wave has been shoved up, and see Liam gets on the turret. Cohen even coming out. Won't actually connect with uh, really anyone, but we'll cut most of the minion wave. Jax with the, with the build right has returned topside against the chain vest and the giant's belt out of uh, Fariz. Here. We'll see if Pantheon will continue to camp him or get these other lanes fed. I would, I would suggest the other lanes because you can deal with Jax. With that Malphite ultimate and a Pantheon stone top of that night, to mention Annie. Still in the middle. Peter Porker still has a lead, albeit only 3 CS. And that should disappear here in just a second. So, Demonko gonna go back. Nick Star gonna be all by himself, but we'll just shut the lane up and return. Nick, meantime, top side. I'm not going to bother harassing Fariz too much anymore until that Blade of the Rune King is done. And Panda, who you know, was present early on, has been quite, kind of uh, quiet now. Can't think of going to go drop from the mid lane. Get a Porker. Being forced to flash away. Should be able to escape that. And we'll just hop over the wall to the Wraith Camp. I really don't know why it just showed us up here. The action is happening right now. Ziggs also going to come in. Not going to be enough to finish him off, but we'll keep him tagged up here. Peter Porker is going to have a tough time. Eddie actually gets a stun onto a limb. The ultimate out of does come up, though. He's going to survive it. He's going to repop back up here. And you can see Severe being forced out right away. We see Demonko trying to harass him down, trying to get the stun. And that's actually going to be it. He gets a stun. One more auto-attack will be enough. He flashes, but it doesn't matter. And he gets the kill. And that will trade a dragon for a death. And Gragas did manage to die to the turret instead of Ziggs uh, by being in the enemy base. Now, here comes Vi. Oh, get the not actually ultimate on the next side, but the stun comes in and now he's gonna go down as well. What? What? And now, <laughs> now Archie's gonna get caught up here. He's gonna get taken down. What is going on? Four people just died off the back of that, and they got dragon, but there was no need. I don't know, maybe that was like a little bit of frustration or something, but they just gave away their, their advantage that they had, and now they are behind in money. And Rock's able to capitalize off of that, doing a fantastic job, and not really sure what's going through the heads of uh, DT there, but obviously it, it wasn't right. Now they can be forced to play from behind. But they're still picked up for Severe. Huh. I don't know. That's just that's just weird to me. I'm just gonna assume that Vi didn't realize the damage that they had, but either way, that's in the past. Nick gonna do some damage onto this turret. Gonna pick it up here eventually, but here comes Ziggs from the side. Malphite doesn't have an ultimate though. Doesn't have the mana for it. Nick will get the turret down. He's probably gonna just commit himself for it though. And he will get it with his last dying breath. All right, so they trade one turf. And now Vi gonna have to go topside to defend against it. This should mean that Gregus can push middle if he wants to, but in the meantime, Zillion is there with the help of him. And they're gonna get some damage onto that turret. We'll be able to get it as well. So we'll take it two to one now. And Vi will be there to hold on towards that top turret. So they're losing in kills and stuff, but they are coming back in terms of overall gold with the help of these objectives here. But remember, it's... Those are objectives that the other team can get. So that gold lead you have is basically superficial right now unless you can make something out of it, unless you can make some use of it. And I'm gonna find out here if they can. My ultimate will be up here in just a few. But will they be aggressive now? Will they start to push up in certain areas? All right, gonna be coming in. Ultimate will be up, but no flash though. 
probably going to get sped up here and they're going to push straight in for the kill. There is a ward in that bush. Which easily doesn't have his trinket up just yet to spot out the vision. But here comes Vire on the side. Looking for that engagement that they need. Instead, they're going to back away. Play this one smart. Not give up the advantage that they've been able to accumulate here. And they are currently down about 500 gold because of those two turrets falling. That ruby side stone now done for NA, but does have the boots from ability. Things in Holy Grail done for Ziggs. Sun for Cape done for Malphite on the top side. So a lot of big items coming into play here for both teams. A Pantheon has a hex trick here. Where is he gonna go? He will have his ultimate up. Lane phase is pretty much all but done though. And he's only had two ultimates that really did it. Well, he's only had two ultimates, period, but he's only had two that really did anything either. And we got the gank top lane on Jax, it was successful there. Gank middle, that unfortunately was not. And you kind of depend on that laning phase to really solidify some time for you to build up an advantage. And right now, Jax off by going ahead dead. Panther gonna go for the drop here. Muffle's gonna come in. He's gonna get knocked up. He's not gonna come in. He's gonna try to flash away. And here goes Vi from the side. He'll look for the ultimate. We'll actually land onto Pantheon. And now Ziggs ultimate comes in from the top of that. We will actually see Jax fall though. But Vi still going head to head against Pantheon. He does flash over the wall. But will he come in for? He gets killed with the spear coming out of Pantheon. That's a double. And that is now Rox getting even further ahead now. 8 to 2 and kills. 17 minutes in. Alright, so the rocks we saw earlier on show that they're not <laughs> they're not gonna lose this one easily. Fight back. That's the team we did see back, you know, in Moscow. That's the team we've seen many other times, and they're fighting for it, but actually they played against Gambit, if I'm not mistaken. Back in um Intel Extreme Masters Cologne last year. Yeah, they're out here for the, the pro tournament, and obviously they didn't win that when they got knocked out by them, but they're, they're a good team. One of the better teams in Europe. They're trying to solidify that ranking, I guess, within the other teams here with these qualifiers. But Baron B start up with Vi and with Jax. No words on it. Gotta go for a two-man, and with that Blade of Ring King done, I would imagine it's very possible. Gonna trade off the damage, trade off the healing. Baron maybe down about half up. Malphite coming from the side. We'll actually put a ward over the wall. We'll spot it out. And we'll force them back. So a great read on that one. I'm not going to be able to take a free Baron. And we'll force them to go back to base and heal up. So disaster almost avoided right there on the side of uh, ROX. Great read into that one. Taking a look at CS across the board. Top lane Malphite with the lead. Mid lane Gragas with the lead. And bottom lane Lucy with the lead. So even with all that... Elite, in general, is over towards this DT team. Dragging up about five seconds. We've seen DT pick it up every single time so far. You can see RX isn't going to let that happen this time. They're going to fight for it. Or potentially just take it because Vi is nowhere in the city to make this one. He's not going to time. That should be Dragon. Yep, we'll be given over to the side of uh, ROX. So they get their first one. They do build up a little bit of a gold lead here. Furthest or biggest lead that they've had so far in this best of three. Now Annie and Ziggs pushing on middle here. Grug is trying to hold on. Does have that new CLR draw though. So should be able to clear out waves pretty easily. Vi is going to continue farming away on oh, these double golems. Going to be sticking around close to Lucian in case. A gank just happened there. Pantheon will have jump up again. But don't see him anywhere to really make it useful just yet. Vi gonna come out for severe. Actually gets the, the Q on to him. So we're gonna pop the ultimate, trying to run away. And should be fine. It does have ulti though. Pantheon gonna go for the drop. Vi, what are you doing? Take her turn around. Yeah, she commits for it and he uses the ultimate, but the barrier comes in. He's gonna pick up the kill. He's gonna flash for it. He will get that one. And now Lucy, actually Malphite teleported in. Junior come in from the side, trying to hold him back. He's gonna actually go straight into Malphite here. He's gonna get slowed up. And will he be able to skip this? Lucian just gonna back away. He's not even gonna try helping him out here, which is a little bit weird. Does actually get the auto attacks. The ultimate comes in at Malphite. They line up perfectly. And Freeze picks up the kill. Now here comes Zillion from the side. Pantheon as well. Will he be quick enough to get the ultimate or the speed up? Oh, he'll have the ultimate if he does need it. And he 
Here it comes. Now we can fly for a little bit longer. But in the end, with three people standing right on top of his body, he's not going to escape that one. And Damako going to pick up that one now on a killing spree. They're going to shove onto this bottom turret. And they should be able to take this one for themselves as well. And still, through all that, they don't even have a 2,000 gold lead just yet. They're getting close to it. The farm that DT have been able to do has been spot on. Been sticking really far ahead and been keeping them in this game. Will be another turret. Finally breaking that 2,000 deficit or that 2,000 lead. And now, how are they going to come back from this? Or on that note, what is Arvex going to do to push his advantage? They can't go for a Baron. The Panther Ultimates have been pretty spot on. They've been, they've been pretty damn good considering we're on that laning phase for a while. Now Ziggs going to get caught up here a little bit. And we'll just back away and be fine. And Jackson going to continue to try to shove this top lane since Malphite now is no longer there. But Severe is in the vicinity, taking red. Jax now will be able to escape with the help of that Q onto the minion, so he will be fine. Let's see where the next bit of action is going to come down. Deathcap now done. Zillion Crucible has finished. Deathcap done for Ziggs as well in here, so both mid laners starting to get pretty strong here, pretty beefy. But to be honest, both mid laners really haven't been in these fights just yet. Ziggs does have two assists though. Grongos with one. That top turret will fall. So another one in the banks. Three and two in favor of ROX here. Dragon does have obviously a little bit to go before it does respawn in since it was just taken. So I won't be seeing either team go for that just yet. But Baron still always possible for Jackson Valley if they do want to try to pull it off. And you need to obviously clean out the vision though. When that happens, the other team will be wondering why they don't have vision and where Jackson and Vite are, so... I'm not going to be able to pull that one off here anytime soon. Not that B's ultimate, though. And that is going to be a dead Jax. Possibly the ring kick gets the stun off. We'll be down either way. And that is just too strong of a combo. Pantheon and the Malphite just tearing him a new one. The thing is, when we get into these team fights, it's not going to continue to be that easy. They're winning these fights right now because it's Jax in a 1v2 every time. But, Panther Ultimate is not going to do too much when you break into these fights and you have the entire lineup there from both these teams. It comes down to the anti stun, whether it lands in the right position, and Ziggs is also of its damage as well. It's like you shouldn't really miss an ultimate when you have a Malphite there to knock them into the air. Alright, so we're about 24 minutes in. Dragging up in about a minute 30. ROX finally coming to life here. They just got completely destroyed, honest, honestly, in that first game. They even surrendered that one, realizing that it was just too impossible to come back from. Yeah, out of all the regions, Russia surrendered more than, like, any anything else you've had so far. I guess they just realize when the game's done, or realize when they just don't think they can win here, but I know they're trying to defend on this middle turret. Looks like DT will be able to maintain it for a little bit longer. I see Vi off to the side does have ultimate. Doesn't have flash though. Russian challenger is our bronze. <laughs> okay. Just reading chat and you guys are <laughs> ridiculous. NA is the worst region, like hands down, competitively. So, just saying. Just saying. Even though I'm from North America, I'll be the first to tell you it's true. Alright, so Vi, building towards the random ones, has a Brutalizer and a Negatron Cloak. Triforce almost done for Lucian. Bloodthirster and that last whisper, or not last whisper, sorry, Benedictor is done for severe though. So we'll be able to run through minions. Now if I could steal away the big golem. We will have ROX pick up the second dragon now. 
So all tied 2-2 two two dragons. Jax trying to go head to head against Malphite in this top lane, but it's gonna be a little bit difficult for him. Obviously against that first and heart and against the ground slam reduces his attack speed just so low, but I don't know, you should have the sustain, I would imagine. Without an ignite on Malphite makes it almost impossible. But Jax gonna be coming down the middle, trying to help out. Malphite still has teleport. And Arox have gained full control of this game. Alright, so 26 minutes in. It's honestly still anyone's game though. It's about, what, a 5,000 gold difference between the two teams? 26 minutes in isn't really that much here. And the advantage that Arox has been able to build up is because of these... Uh, advantageous fights that they've been, you know, pulling off because of the Pantheon uh, leaves. But we'll see if they can continue because they've they've been able to build up an advantage onto Malphite, which is gonna be really hard to deal with because they have so much armor and so much attack speed reduction that Jax and Lucian aren't really be able to do too much. Lucian doesn't really depend on attack speed, but it comes down to that Gragas if he can do the damage that he needs. And Pantheon even built a random zone with the Spirit of the Elder Lizard plus a Hex Drinker and Brutalizer, so he has quite a bit of damage on himself, too. So a lot of threats here. And not a lot of CC to really lock all of them down, but I don't know. I don't want to count DT out just yet. I feel like they're a strong team from what we saw earlier on. But... Complete map control out of Arwex everywhere at those uh, sweeping lenses. They do have two of them now. And they have wards down practically everywhere here. So Jax is really doing too much to Malphite. Actually take, taking more damage than he's doing. As here comes the Pantheon drop. Malphite ultimate. Getting stunned up on a turret. Zillion got him off the side. He will get the ultimate off onto him though. They will keep him alive because of that flash. He was able to get in there just quick enough. By coming from the side. Gonna lock him down. Pantheon now getting very low. Zillion ultimate doing some really good damage. Jax will jump right back into him. Looking for the kill. He will pick that up on the Vi. It's very even coming up from the side. And that will be a turnaround. And a fantastic job by Zillion right there to get there as quick as possible with the help of the flash and his speed ups. To keep Jax alive and to net them a kill now. All right. So, 28 minutes now. Goldie, it's still only 5,000 between the two teams. And it's really anyone's game at the moment. Comes down to what's going to happen in these next few minutes. Dragon should be coming up in about two minutes and I'd say like 20, 30 seconds. Void Staff now done for Kraga, so his damage. She's got a nice little spike off that. Ziggs has the same. And he doesn't have Sork Boots. Oh, actually, both of Midlanders don't have Sork Boots, which is a little bit unfortunate, but Nomad's Medallion now done for Archie. Gonna have the Talisman Assumption done here in just a few. And that Randomman's Omen should be done for Nick in just a few seconds uh, in that top side when he does want to go back and buy. It's currently 0 and 4. Still farming, though. Not the strongest in that department at the moment, but... Farming nonetheless. He's really trying to catch up here. That Reynolds almost going to make him, honestly, pretty dead tanky. It's going to help out quite a bit. But we'll see what he can do with it. So Jax going head to head with Ziggs. Now if I actually teleport in as well. Jax in a very tough position. Well, actually, wow, fantastic leap over the wall onto that warp. But now Zillion, he's in a uh, really bad spot. He's ulti onto himself. He's not going to get any backup, though. He'll go down, but Gragas 
and Lucid immediately responding with the push on the middle, and you see RX trying to make the decision. Should we go for Baron or should we go for the push and stop that? And they will go for the Baron. Vi and Jackson coming for the side. They could get the AoE stun off. Mixed in with the Baron still, and actually the uh, middle lane does back away. Gragas and Lucid are coming back. The Gragas ultimate is up. He could actually do some really good damage here. He could, could actually get it very low, and they do have the ward down, but here he goes the ultimate. But actually, Zix does go down. Baron was not taken by either team just yet, and that will be one kill coming in for both teams. They're looking for the second onto Severe. She will go down to Vi here, and now Lucid in the backside. He's not even being attacked. What is he doing? As Malphite finally does come around to him, does try to push him off this, but now you're seeing Demonko, he's gonna go, or Demashka gonna go down to Vi right now, will get taken down. Lucian still fighting for his life, Malphite being forced to run away, as we do see Vi get stunned up here, but Lucian being forced to use the barrier, trying to run away, trying to sustain with that Bloodthirster, but he doesn't have any attack speed against this Malphite, trying to flash, but he will get slowed up, he's gonna actually get over the wall, he will dodge from that, and he will survive, so it's a two for three trade, they stop the Baron. A fantastic job, and honestly, Terrible focus coming out of the side of ROX, but they do live to fight another day. And that game is not, oops, I just kicked the mic. It's not over just yet for either of these teams. Oh, wow, that was actually a really good fight. It's just really weird to see that no one focused on Lucian the entire time. You saw Malphite try to, you know, shove him out, and if, honestly, he just, if he just sat there and just stayed on Lucian, that fight would not have gone that way, and Vi, the damage is able to build up, did so much damage, was able to pick up quite a few kills and really hold that fight together. Here comes Pantheon jumping into Dragon. And Lucian just dies. Not really sure why that would happen. Now Jack jumped in as well. He's not a way to get out. And just as I praise them for doing so well, they make the most stupid play I've ever seen and lose two people. <sighs> Why? Why did you just not get out? <sighs> I just, I really have no comment for that. I was just... Anyways, we'll skip over that for now. Vi, Gragas, and Zillin all coming in to stop this Baron from being done. It's going to be very low right now, though, as you see them trying to push in. Baron down about 2,000 life. Pico charge from the side. Ultimate comes in. Not going to be enough, though. And that will be Baron locked down for the side of ROX here, and they will just back away without losing a man. Alright, so RX approaching 10k lead right now. Talos Ascension has been finished for Zillion. Nice whisper done for Lucian. Mod Memorial is actually done for Pantheon now, so I'm looking to sustain some damage out of Jax. And Gragas, but honestly, Gragas doesn't really seem to be doing too much in these fights. Then again, we really haven't seen these fights break out as five on fives. They've mostly just been picks. And with one team having one or two men down. So I haven't really seen that full five on five that I'm looking for just yet. 24 is done for a mouth fight. Spectral's cow done for Ziggs. Why not build Triforce on Malphite fight when you can? Uh, Pantheon just can take a little bit of damage there. Not really care in the end though. We'll just walk away with the help of that regen from Baron. And the Malphite fight is honestly just getting too big right now. I don't really have an answer for him. They kind of just leave him last. Which honestly they just have to do. They can't really burst him down. Lucian can't even really 1v1 him. Look at that damage. He needs to be forced to go back to base here. Return as quick as possible. We'll have boots of ability though, so we should be fine. Right, we're gonna need him for this fight. Sieging will begin the mouth fight on the top side. We'll have teleport up here in just a second to get down if he needs to. That top turret. That one's gonna fall. Jax, do not dare push up onto that. And that will be another turret going in the way of ROX. Currently 5 to 2 in favor of them. Let's see if they can take this one home here. 
Both teams have gotten wins. Well, that was actually a really stupid statement. Obviously, both teams have gotten wins, but what I'm trying to say is the fact that Arox had a surrender earlier on today in their first win, where DT did not, but DT just got a surrender out of Arox from this last game here. And now, it's it's obviously a 10,000 gold lead in favor of Arox, but they're still not 100% confident in the push in for this third. You know, trying to play this one safe. They don't want to lose it on this one. If they lose a big team fight here, they could lose on quite a bit since we're already 36 minutes in. And they could actually lose quite a few turrets, but that's another one going down. 6 to 2 in favor of ROX. And will they continue to push in here? Or will they back away and fight another day? And right now, they're looking to go for it. You see Malphite, he could tank those turrets for a very long time with the help of that Baron buff. I'm pretty sure Malphite can actually 1v1 almost anyone on the other team at the moment, but Malphite gonna take up the turret yet again. Just because he can, why not? The other team is really scared. They don't really have a lot of range to attack the, the turret, as you can see. They're having a very tough time doing anything here, and the wave clear that DT has with that Gragas, they're able to keep the wave shoved out, or keeping the turrets alive, but every once in a while they get a couple of hits here and there. And that's really helping out quite a bit here, but sooner or later, there's going to be a crack in the defenses. There's going to be a crack in that shell. And with the minion wave pushing bottom, minion wave pushing top, Magic's going to be coming here very soon. Well, let's see. DT doesn't want to fight right now, but... Very slow to come in. I might have buy it. even jumps in for a second. We'll just back out, though. Our soul did uh, decent damage to Annie, the support, who has a Spectral's Cow now. But he doesn't really have that one-shot potential, and he tried to get them out of position, but here comes the turret. Probably gonna fall here in just a second. Gonna rush this straight for Malpha with a nice ultimate knocks up two people. That is gonna be Gragas going down, but it's Gazillion ultimate now Jax. He doesn't have anything. Blade of the popped. He's gonna actually give us a little bit more sustain here as we do see a kill finally come in. That is two now. And that is RX gonna be clean up the fight. They will lose out on one man. Zig's gonna go down here as well as a Pantheon, so it's a two-for-two two trade, as Vi will be able to escape. But will they keep the inhibitor alive? There's no Baron buff on the other side. Calling gonna come out to try to hold Malphite off as he takes pretty much no damage. Vi, with the home guard boots, coming in fast. Won't have ultimate, but will force them back here. And considering that, I believe in the beginning of the fight was a Baron up ROX, and that was their engagement. They didn't fare as well as you honestly think they would be able to. Alright, so, Severe, what are the Rune King now done? Pantheon, Black Cleaver, and Annie going for the Banshee's Veil. Let's see where this goes after that fight. Obviously, Baron won't be up for a little bit longer. A minute 20 left to go on that one. Dragon is up, and it looks like Arox are going to pick that up here. Spectral's Cow picked up for Lucian, as well as the Berserker Greaves. Triforce on its way for Jax. That's so much gold he actually has. 180, so he won't have that done anytime soon. He's trying to get that farm. And if he gets that Triforce done, I would imagine. Actually, it could be a one team fight for uh, the DT if they. Well, let's just say it could be a one team fight if Arox keeps fighting this way and they keep getting these terrible fights not the right positions and not covering the right people allowing divide to get straight into the back lines onto the carries and stuff like that but we'll see what happens here and Jax he's gonna get a major power from this but he's just not able to get the farm he needs oh is Annie actually spotted out and he's going for the wards Jackson's lane will be noticed though and they're gonna clear all that vision exactly what they need to do here and I think it's gonna come down to this Baron fight well, right now, it's it's kind of a interesting position to be in because RX doesn't need to worry about Baron. They can just rush straight down middle, get the inhibitor for free. If uh, if obviously DT are in a bad spot, so they need to shove the lane out. If you're on DT side, to make sure that they can't do that. And there you go, Baron. It is now live. Jackson, go back to farm this top side. Go back to getting that Triforce done here. Vision has been completely cleared out for the side. 
Oh, D2, they can't see anything there. Jack's looking for the ward. He's gotta be very careful. They disengage. Jack's getting caught out right now. Zillian coming up for the side. Will he be able to get there in time? No! That is a kill coming in. And that is the ward advantage that ROX has. And what they can do from that, they just said, forget Baron. We're pushing for an inhibitor here. We have a man advantage. And they're gonna go straight for it. Or shove out the wave and then go for it. Because they need minions to kill the inhibitor when they have five people. Alright, since they're enough for Baron, not going for inhibitor. They will be spotted walking over towards it though. And right now we could see another four and five fight break out. And last time DT was in this position, they did fairly well here. Let's check out the Baron's health down about half already. And you see DT just pulling away. Tivers used. Panther actually flashing as well, looking for the stun of Gragas. He's all by himself though. He's overextended. I see Lucian him trying to pull, uh, burst him down quickly. Gragas think it taking down Ignite going to be enough though. With the help of Lucian, they will stop from doing Baron. So they trade one for one, but they take out the Smiter. And they still have theirs up. Now Annie gonna get caught up here by Vi, as well as Lucy coming from the side, doing some good damage on the mouth by Vi going straight head to head against Annie. Gonna have that Zillion there to be uh, kept alive. Mikhail's popped, ultimate popped onto him as well. Lucy needs to come in here as quick as possible, as well as Zillion. Or he's gonna go down, he's in a tough spot. He's gonna get shut down. And another. <sighs> I, I, I don't know why Vi fought 1v3 right there. Either way, RX looking for the push. Jack's coming in. And Jack's running away. He's trying to go for a GA, it looks like. And we get that Triforce done in time for the next fight. Support going to be coming from Alpha. He has ultimate available. And you see DT immediately back away. Malphite just does not care. He'll be tanking this one up. Pulling even coming in. That will be inhibitor falling. And as the first one of the game going over to RX after 42 minutes. Yeah, so guys, I am behind the actual game by three minutes because of three-minute spectator delay, but there's no delay on the stream minus what's naturally in there, so. Jax, Jax, Jax. Ooh, Jax, he actually gets caught. Oh my gosh. Lucian now down. Gargus Barrel used to keep them away. Lucian needs to run away. Jax, he's going to go down as well. And that's going to be it. Out of position time and time again. And this should be Arawak's finishing the game off. 50 seconds to go on pretty much all three men. And there's nothing they can do with two men to hold on to this. They obviously have Gragas and Vi, but it's just not going to be enough. And that should be Arawak's pulling it back one-to-one -to, -one to tie things up here and to take it into a game number three. Here for the Russian qualifiers for the Black Monster Cup. First extra, it's going to fall by trying everything he possibly can. Going straight for Annie, but the Banshee's Veil came up in time and actually didn't do anything. He's going to go down now from that. Second extra, going to be focused down. That one's going to fall. And that will be, in fact, ROX picking up the win and securing themselves into a game number three here between these two teams to determine who's going to win it all, who's going to win the 250 Euros, and who's going to go home with only the qualifier into the spring playoffs. But that means we're going to go to a little, bit, a little bit of a break, guys. So when we come back, that game three will kick off, and hopefully you guys will stick around.